Hey, this is Mark of Edema, and we're in Vibebreaker. Come check out the new stuff. I consider my music like melodic rock. Um, it comes from a lot of different sources. We all listen to different types of music. Um, I like everything from hip hop to you know R and B to metal to you know death metal. I mean, we listen to all kinds of different music. So um, when asked what kind of music we play, I would call it just melodic rock. It's you know driving rock with uh, melody over it. Basically, how it happened was is just we would go. They'd come over to my apartment, and we'd be barbecuing and drinking, and just you know, it wasn't even about music. But you know, the the recorders came out of the closet, and we start jamming, and we had a couple songs, and we we're like, "Wow, this is really cool stuff!" And it was like a fusing of of the two bands of Adima and Juice, because uh, me and Mike Ransom, the guitar player for Adima now, um, we had had Adima going, and we just wanted to take it a certain direction, and those those guys coming in helped us complete that. The reason I think people are coming out of Bakersfield successful is that there's not a lot to do. So when there's not a lot to do, you try to hone your crafts. And um, me personally, I would spend a lot of time, um, you know, writing songs, practicing music, because that was the only um, bit of entertainment that I had for myself there. Um, there's not much to do there. Um, you know, the city thinks that the answer to all problems there is to build more movie theaters and more malls, and I just don't get it. Um, but as far as the talent goes there, there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of youth there that are into, into music, and, um, you know, it's just coincidental that so many bands, and they're all con connected in kind of like a family tree. Have <laughs> people rush the stage? That's probably the craziest thing. I mean, one second I'm singing, and then there's you know four girls rushing me, and I'm just like, whoa, that tripped me out. You know, it's just like one. I'm like, oh, I'm looking this way, and then I turn back this way to go sing over here, and just boom, I'm like, oh no, you know, I'm trying to rip my earrings out and stuff like that. You know, just stuff like that. <laughs> I think people mis, um, misconceive how we got signed and stuff. A lot of people think that, you know, somebody outside of our camp was paying money to give us demos or, like, sending tapes here and there, and it wasn't like that at all. I mean, we met our management team, um, and within a week, it was, just, it was just on. I mean, we made a good demo, and um, it spread around like wildfire, and we got what we deserved. It wasn't like we just, you know, woke up yesterday and was like I want a you know major selling rock band with all this press and all this stuff it wasn't like that at all we'd been in bands and I've been in bands since I can remember you know um, and I've done music since I was a little kid so when people say that I don't deserve it or they feel that I was lucky yes lucky yes do I deserve it hell yes I deserve it worked hard for this I think the difference between new metal and old metal is uh, there really is no difference. You know, uh, music just, it obviously evolves. I mean, I think, like I said, we're a rock band, but of course we have tints of metal and we probably have little tints of maybe, you know, the 80s flavor or whatever. I mean, bands get influenced by other bands and, you know, take what other bands did to a new level and, you know, maybe once in a while it's kind of hard in this day and age to do something 100% completely original but you know it does happen here and there and it's like when that happens when you get onto something totally new that's never been done that's really cool I think the difference between Edema and the bands we've all been in uh, separately compared to collectively now is that we are all musically on the same level we all like a lot of the same bands were all very comfortable with the term rock band and what we want to do and where we have you know a lot of the same goals prior bands at least definitely speaking for myself um it was very mixed you know one guy would be into this and it was like pulling teeth to write songs and i think that sounds cool no that sounds like 
crap, you know, all this uh, creative tension, whatever. Our band, it's almost uh, funny how easy it is to write. If you're a musician, you know all the other musicians in the town, and it's kind of cool to be able to start a band and stuff. But as far as like a scene, it, it's hard to keep a band together, and there's not a lot of clubs to play. There's not, you know, no A and R guys or record industry people are dying to go to Bakersfield and check people out, you know. And it's funny because most, you know, as far as definitely rock, you know, the Corn thing or you know us, whatever, getting a record deal didn't happen in Bakersfield, you know, it happened outside of Bakersfield, but we all met in Bakersfield, we played music together in Bakersfield, but it's kind of like, it's it's a good starting ground is what I'm trying to say. You can start a band there, and if you're really serious about it, you get out, and then maybe something will happen. The weirdest thing, I don't know if it's weird or just gross, but the other night, I, Dave, our bass player, was right in front of me. And I spit a loogie on him, which I thought was a very good shot. I hit him, you know, right square in the forehead and it kind of dripped down. And then he, because uh, I wasn't looking, he waited and waited and waited. And I was kind of doing this, trying to play in guard. And I let my guard down and, uh, you know, I felt something just go in my eye. And I couldn't see out of my right eye. And uh, this is my right, right? Yeah, my right eye. And... Uh, that, I don't know, is that pretty weird, or? I think that's weird. A lot of people think it's some put-together music industry thing that was just handed to us, and, you know, because of the, the people we know and our band and the relationships and family and whatever, that, you know, this band is some kind of pre-medicated, meditated thing? <laughs> pre-medicated and pre-meditated thing. It's a... Uh, we're, you know, we've all, although we've been together as, as this unit for a short amount of time, we've all been in prior bands, we've all been playing music since we were young, every member in this band has. We've all dedicated our entire lives to music, and no one handed this to us, no one, you know, not to sit there and praise us or whatever, but we work very hard, and, you know, it's just, thank God we got the right chemistry of guys together, we're all, we were all friends first, so that helps.